Hicks Studio. Who's this? Hey, this is uh, Eric Turner. Eric the Turner. Shaggy. How you doing, my man? I'm doing good, man. We're looking forward to seeing you at Shoshone Band at Casino Hotel this Saturday night. Yeah, we can't wait, man. We're looking forward to rocking the house. We haven't been to Idaho in a little while. Definitely. And, it's uh, been a bit. Idaho rocks, man. We can't wait. Oh, for sure. And you guys are uh, having Nelson open up for you. When was the last time you played a show with Nelson? Ironically, we don't play with them very often, but I would say the last time we played a show with them was probably a month ago. Oh, serious? And they sounded great. I don't know who's going to be there with them this time, but sometimes they bring out special guests. Like they had Derek St. Holmes from Ted Nugent fame back in the day. Really good band. Should be a great night of, of rock and roll. We play about 17 songs, and, and most of them are from the first two albums. So everybody should should know those songs, hopefully. Oh, definitely. And I've actually had the opportunity to see Warrant a couple different times, and you guys always bring it. But one thing I've noticed is you guys don't typically do like a ton of covers in your set list. Is there any covers that you have ever wanted to do with Warrant that you haven't had the chance to do? You know, last year, we, you know, a long time ago, we got asked to re-record We Will Rock You for a movie called Gladiator. Nice. So last year, we played that song in the set towards the end. And then this year, we, on Cherry Pie, we recorded a cover song of Train Train by Blackfoot. Ricky Medlock's uh, Shorty Medlock, I believe, wrote that song. So we, we have that in the set as far as covers go. But, uh, you know, we recorded both of those songs and put them out properly on on soundtracks and albums so those are the ones we tend to play very cool you might have to bust out some blackfoot i don't know if you know this but next to fort hall is a city called blackfoot in idaho so you gotta bring some blackfoot right (laughs) yeah well we'll be playing train train most likely uh i I always hesitate to say 100 percent because we do rotate songs in the in the set list some people might remember if they bought the single of cherry pie there was a a song on the B side that we didn't put on the album. It's called Thin Disguise. Mm -hmm. And we've been playing that live. Uh, in the set and it's been going over really well fun playing that rare rare gem busting out some deeper cuts i like it absolutely <laughs> oh you know it so one thing i wanted to bring up uh, not too long ago i saw an interview with the front man of the band bear tooth not sure if you're familiar with them or not but he was talking about how after a rock show instead of going and partying and doing all the things that you know you would expect from a rock star he just goes back to the hotel or bus and hangs out at what point did you start to notice that the rock and roll backstage party scene was starting to fizzle out you know most people would rather just go and hang out rather than go into a raging party yeah probably you know 15 20 years ago (laughs) i would say you know we look forward to the after show meal and then you know getting back to the hotel and you know a lot of times we only have a few hours to sleep before we got to get up and catch a flight or run to an airport but um it's it's not crazy like the old days i can tell tell you that we still like to have you know a little wine maybe a little tequila some good food some good uh you know camaraderie but uh there's none of the craziness that we used to do in our 20s exists anymore and i, and I don't think we would survive if yeah we right. acted like that, <laughs> quite honestly exactly well it seems all together i mean even with a lot of these younger bands it's not like the backstage scene of the 80s anymore what do you think happened i don't know you know i first noticed that a long time ago i went to see uh some friends of ours, and they're, uh, I won't say the name of the, <laughs> the band, but the, extremely popular in like the early 2000s. And we went backstage, and then we went and hung out on the bus. And um, you know, quite frankly, they were just drinking sodas, smoking a, a little weed, and playing video games. And they're like, <laughs> you know, in their early 20s at the time. And I'm just like, what's going on? <laughs> this is very different than when, you know, the 80s when we were rocking and rolling. It was uh, a decade of decadence. So people have definitely calmed down over the years. From what I've seen, yeah. My my limited viewing, uh, you know, I don't hang around a lot of bands uh, from the new, the new guys. But, uh, yeah, everybody's definitely uh, mellowed out. I think everybody's playing better than ever, you know, after playing for so long and going on stage sober yeah. and all that good stuff. Um, you, you play better. You sound better. Um, yeah, the band right now, we've been touring all year long, and the, the band, in my humble opinion, is you know sounding really tight. Oh, for sure. And I think I saw you guys last time, maybe like two years ago, and you sounded just as good as ever, so keep up the good work. Uh, speaking of playing, I personally am a guitarist, you know, not on your level, but I do jam around from time to time. As one guitar player to another, I'm curious, if you had to pick one guitar, go-to guitar to play for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh my gosh, that would be a hard one to pick. Um, 
you know, I used to just play this black Les Paul custom that I have, but luckily I don't need to make that choice. Yeah. And uh, I've been playing GMP guitars. Very since cool. The, you know, early 2000s. And I like guitars with tremolo bars on them now, Floyd Roses. Still play some hardtails, but um, yeah, I'm pretty much playing my go-to guitar for the last couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> it's a GMP uh, Telecaster with a Floyd Rose on it. There you go. That's all you need then. Yeah, yeah. So one last question for you, and I'll let you go. I have a feature every day on my show at 5 p.m. called Shaggy's Picks, where basically I get to pick whatever song I want. And all throughout the month of October, I'm going to be playing like Halloween or spooky themed songs. Is there a warrant song that would fit into that category I should throw on? Uh, I think Hole in My Wall from our third album, Dog Eat Dog, could fit with that vibe. It's definitely got a dark, kind of mysterious, spooky vibe to it. Someone staring at you through the hole in the wall. It's kind of creepy, huh? Very creepy. Consider it in the playlist, Eric Turner. Thank you. No Honored. Problem. Very cool. Right on. Well, thank you for taking a couple minutes with me today, Eric. And once again, Shoshone Bannock Casino Hotel this Saturday night, September 30th. Warrant and Nelson going to be rocking the casino. Tickets available on our website at ClassicRockIdaho.com. Anything else you want to throw in there, Eric? Hey, if you're listening, come on out and party with us. It's going to be a good time. Warrant's all about having fun. You know, we don't get into any deep issues other than, uh, you know, party on. Party on, have a good time. Hopefully uh, you'll enjoy a great night of rock and roll with your friends. That's what I like to hear. Eric Turner of Warrant, thank you so much for joining me, and we will see you at the show on Saturday. Hey, thank you so much, Shag. I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing y'all. Hey, sounds good. Have a good one, all right?